Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. This is the question and answer session. So here the question. A six year old sustains a supracondylar fracture of the distal humerus. There are concerns that the radial nerve have been injured. What is the relationship of the radial nerve to the humerus at this point? So uh, it is one of the direct question that the radial nerve relation to the humerus at the supracondylar region. So here are the options. Options are anterolateral, anteromedial, posterolateral, posteromedial, and immediately anterior. Now see the radial nerve here. First of all, you can see the radial nerve with in the in relation to the shaft of the humerus first of all in the upper part it leaves the axilla through the this triangular space with the profound brachii artery then it passes through the radial groove and following them it enters in the anterior part of the humerus in the second picture we can see this is the radial nerve it uh, comes from back and here we can see this is the cubital fossa and cubital fossa it is medial part and here lateral part radial nerve is located in the lateral part and here the uh, popliteal fossa and supracondylar region lies located in this area because it lies just above the condyle and we can see the radial nerve located here and its position is the laterally and anteriorly so the radial nerve is located in the distal third of the humerus or a supracondylar region in the anterolateral position other area we can see here the median nerve median nerve lies in the medial part and brachial artery is just lateral to the medial nerve and here the bicepital aponeurosis so here in this picture also we can see the radial nerve first of all it runs posteriorly and then in the supracondylar area it comes forward and anterior to the distal third of the humerus here the lateral condyle so radial nerve it lies laterally and anteriorly so our final answer is the anterolateral because the radial nerve it lies anterolateral in the supra condylar area or distal humerus so our final answer is anterolateral position